guys welcome back okay so i guess it's time for me to do another new releases video it seems like i just did one and i went to go peep out trend mood because i'm like well let me see what's new what's popping and it's like 50 new things have come out just since my last video so this might be a long one i'm probably just gonna touch on a few things that i think you guys might be interested in but it's a lot of stuff that Trend Mood has on her page for new releases. I mean, I understand Valentine's Day is coming up, so everybody's coming out with these Valentine's releases, but it's a lot, okay? So, let's just go ahead and jump right in and check out and see what's going on, okay? So, let me scooch on over. Okay, this first thing here I see is a new addition to the Born This Way family by Too Faced. It is complexion inspired. So it says they have the light highlighting palette for $42. It's a trio in a compact, illuminating, pressed glow, soft focus, and dazzling. And then, of course, we already know about the Born This Way Natural Nudes eyeshadow palette for $45. I mean, the eyeshadow palette is actually, actually pretty. It's nothing I would get because it, it's, you know... I already have all of that and I don't want a palette like that, but it's actually quite pretty. And this little gold compact, $42 though, I wouldn't pay $42 just because of the fact that I can get some popping highlighters from Revolution. <laughs> so yeah, $42 is a bit much for a little trio of what looks like pretty similar highlighters, but it's cute or whatever. Okay, so here we have a new release coming out from KKW Fragrance. This is the Crystal Gardenia family. The Crystal Violet Musk. I mean, it's cute packaging or whatever. I haven't smelled any of their fragrances. Not a one. It says a shimmery oriental floral for $35. You get $30 mills that's a cute little packaging now from these notes they sound pretty good it says opening sugar-coated italian bergamot dreamy lavender france or pearl heart star jasmine lush violet peonies pink lily of the valley bells and then the finish it says vanilla bean fluff roasted tonka bean absolute or purr sandalwood australian or purr so that actually sounds pretty good <laughs> it sounds like it smells pretty nice so i don't know i might have to check that out i'm kind of in the market for a new fragrance i don't really buy fragrances like i used to i have a nice little perfume collection nothing like my girl dj's okay if you haven't seen her perfume collection video go check it out because uh yeah she got some scents but this one sounds like it is going to smell pretty nice. I'll have to check it out. It's available January the 29th. Okay, now I've been peeping out this palette. I've been checking it out. This is one of the new mini palettes from Norvina. Her collection, this one is the Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 3. $29. This is, what does it say? Nine full-size cherry shades from red wine mats to sparkling berry metallics. And I must say, this palette looks a little unique to me. It does the combination of colors. It's kind of talking to me with the, the red and the teal and just kind of like the, what is that? A persimmon type shade. And then you come in here with the light blue shimmer and the, what is that, like a champagne type shimmer. I don't know, but it's it's unique enough for me to take a look and take notice. Okay, I'm like, that's kind of cute. So I might have to cop that. <laughs> it says it's available January 31st in stores. Okay, so next we have here from MAC Cosmetics. It says Glow Play Blush. Innovative, ultra smooth, cushiony blush creates a flawlessly radiant look when applied with fingers or a brush. 11 blendable shades in a creamy formula provides a pinch of foolproof sheer to medium buildable color. $30 each. Uh, I mean, they're cute or whatever, but <laughs> yeah, $30. 
Mm, I'm not familiar with MAC blush at all. I'm really not that familiar with MAC in general. I just don't gravitate to them. So this is not something that's really appealing to me. They look like they're kind of small. Like I said, I'm not familiar with MAC sizing or anything like that. They look kind of small, but... $30 for a blush, yeah, I can't do it, but <laughs> knock yourself out. <laughs> okay, so here we have here what looks like some delicious eyeshadow palettes that look like candy and it's making me hungry right now just looking at it. It's from Etude House. It says, the new sweet collection just in time for Valentine's Day. The Hershey's collection includes two sets. You can get the full collection for $66.30 or you can get two palettes and two lipsticks for $58.24. And what does it say here? Pre-order online. Available for pre-order. Okay. So they have these two mini eyeshadow palettes. Creamy Milk Chocolate and the Cookies and Cream. They have two powder rouge tint uh, hazelnut chocolate and almond chocolate and then they also have two eye brushes creamy milk chocolate and cookies and cream okay so I mean it's a cute little set it is not anything I would ever buy because it's just making me hungry looking at it <laughs> but it's a cute set and those eye brushes mm, they're too random for me at least but yeah that milk chocolate eyeshadow palette it's actually quite pretty, but it is making me hungry though. So yeah, <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay, Natasha Denona, more Valentine's launches. This is a new Lip Euphoria Gloss and a Balm. You can create the perfect glossy pout with a super juicy shine. Okay, what do we have here? It comes in shades Nude, Mauve, and Duochrome Coral for $26 each. Now that's a pricey lip balm, okay? Will be available January 28th online at Natasha Denona, Sephora, and Beautylish. And it says February the 6th in stores. So, I mean, that's something to keep your eye out for, I guess. But, yeah, no. There's some pretty pricey lip gloss and lip balm. Okay, you guys, now this little collection is actually cute. I've never purchased anything from Kylie Cosmetics and never really planned on it because I'm just not here for it. But this palette might get a little bit of attention from me. This is the Kylie Jenner and Stormy collab collection celebrating Valentine's Day. So, of course, that's super duper cute. And it has an eyeshadow palette, a pressed blush powder, and lip kits, matte liquid lipstick and a lip liner, as well as a mini high gloss collection. So all of those things, maybe aside from the blush, are kind of appealing to me. It says it's available February the 1st on Kylie Cosmetics. Now, how much is this stuff? Is there pricing on here? I don't know. If I come across prost pricing I'll add it on the screen but yeah that palette that palette is kind of cute them swatches are really pretty just even the the glossy lipsticks or lip shines or whatever they are the high gloss collection those are actually pretty and it does say Valentine's Day to me okay so I might have to check that out that's kind of cute so Smashbox is collabing with this new Birds of Prey movie that's coming out with your girl. What is her name? Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Harley Quinn. I like her. But they're coming out with a new collab collection for the movie, which is coming out February 7th, Birds of Prey. And it's three lipsticks, matte lipstick colors. So Black Canary is stepping out. Harley Quinn is boss and Huntress is hoops on. So those and those colors are actually pretty nice. They're actually pretty nice. I'm not in the market for any new matte lipsticks. So okay, Mac has another collab. It says the cutest collab. So it's with is it Keiko Friends? So Keiko Friends and Mac is coming out with some cute little lipsticks in February, and they really they just look kind of kitty to me. Um, yeah, it's the packaging alone just says childish, so it's not something that I would be drawn to anyway. But 
I mean, I guess if you know who Keiko and Friends is, or Keiko Friends, you might be interested in it, but I'm not. Okay, Natasha Denona, another part of this whole Valentine's Day launching, um, has this new palette, Love Glow. It's a cheek palette for $55. It's pretty. It looks a little bit maybe too fair for my taste, but it is very pretty. Um, the other palette that she has, the darker one, like this, you know, little palette like that. I've been wanting that for the longest, but I just refused to pay the price for it. And I didn't get it when they had it in the boxy premium or whatever it was. So I was a little salty about that, but <laughs> I just have to wait till it goes on sale because maybe it'll go on sale now that they're coming out with this new one here. But yeah, I just, I refuse to pay for it, but I want that one really bad. The one that everybody has, but anyways... I digress. So this new cheek palette is really pretty. It says it's inspired by um, Natasha Denona's best-selling diamond and blush palette. So you get a glow cream base in red coral, super glow, which is a shimmery gold rose pigment, diamond powder, which is shimmery bright warm pink, and glow impact powder, white warm metallic gold. So it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, Available January the 28th online and in stores on February 6th. Yeah, I'm not getting that because I'm not paying that price for that. Okay, so KKW Beauty is coming out with another boring collection. <laughs> Look, if you like KKW Beauty, my bad, my bad. Do you, boo? But for me, they're all just so freaking boring. So anyways, this is the new Celestial Sky Collection. You get lip crayons for $18 each. It looks like there are five shades. You get the classic Matte's Blush Palette for $38. She's also coming out with the classic Shimmers Blush Palette for $38. The Sapia Sunset Eyeshadow Palette for $25. The Bronze Heaven Eyeshadow Palette for $25. Or the Night Sky eyeshadow palette for $25. <laughs> you know, it's so funny to me because I thought these were all the same palette. I thought they were just so, showing the exact same palette three times. I'm like, those are different palettes? Lord have mercy. I cannot. I'm pretty sure they're much more gorgeous than they appear to be. I mean, the swatches look pretty. But just as a whole... This collection does not speak to my soul at all. So, there you have it. KKW Beauty. Ooh, okay. Fenty Beauty is coming out with some new products. They have a What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. <laughs> $30. Really? That name. I love that name. What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. Me and my husband say that all the time. What It Do? $30. Uh, yeah, I'm not paying $30 for a refresher spray. So it looks like you can use it, you know, prior to foundation to prep as well as to refresh and set and all that stuff. But yeah, no, I'm not getting it. They have relaunching two shades of the Gloss Bomb, which is what the Sweet Mouth and the Hot Chocolate. But they're coming out with a brand new Gloss Bomb, which is Glass Slipper. Uh, $19 for these lip glosses, okay? Yeah, no, I'm not paying $19 for a clear lip gloss, okay? Yeah, so these gloss bombs are $19 a piece. <laughs> so I guess I won't be trying the new clear glass slipper because I am not paying $19 for a clear gloss, okay? She might have been able to get me with the hot chocolate and all that stuff, which I'm wearing hot chocolate right now. <laughs> But yeah, she might have been able to get me with the other glasses, but not a clear. I'm not paying that for a clear, okay? I got to put my foot down somewhere. But anyways, and it says Mademoiselle Trifecta Plush Matte Lipstick Set for Valentine's Day, $39. Those are pretty. Not any colors that it looks like I don't have in my collection already, so not really appealing to me, but... Those are some really pretty shades for Valentine's Day. I am curious about that spray though. That that uh what it do refreshing spray. 
But yeah, I can't do it. I'm not paying $30 for that. No. Okay, we got some new eyeshadow palettes from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. Each one includes 11 shades with matte and shimmery finishes for $22. Luscious Plum and Sunflower, available January the 24th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which has already passed. And how do I know that? Because your girl ordered them. <laughs> Yes, these palettes are so pretty to me. I'm sorry, they're gorgeous and I had to cop them. So that is what I did. I copped them. They are gorgeous. So yeah, those are available right now, $22 each. And I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. I can't wait until I get mine. Okay, you guys. So collab alert. Midas Cosmetics and Smoky Glow have collabed coming out with eyeshadow palettes, lip glosses, and whatnot. So it's the Smoky Glow Eyeshadow Palette for $36. And it says here, it's available for pre-order on January the 28th at midnight Pacific Standard Time at Midas Cosmetics. So just keep that in mind. So the collection includes the Smoky Glow Eyeshadow Palette for $36, Lip Gloss Trio for $25, Highlighter Duo for $21, or you can get the whole PR box for $75. So this is really cute. It is a cute collection. I'm really proud of Smoky Glow. You go, girl, okay? I always love supporting fellow YouTubers coming out with collabs, you know, just out here doing a dang thing. So good job, girl. Now this palette, it totally has the whole Valentine's Day vibe to me with kind of like the red, pink, purple, coral, you know, that whole kind of thing. There's a couple of neutrals in there, a nice little black, looks like it has some glitter in it. But yeah, it's a cute palette, really, really cute. Um, I'm sure the glosses are nice. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I'll be picking this up just because it's not something that, you know, I, I would like to add to my collection, but nonetheless, very, very proud of Smoky Glow. Good job, girl. Okay, another ColourPop collection. <laughs> this is the You Are a Cutie collection. It includes an eyeshadow palette, of course, for 18 bucks. Super Shock Cheek Duo for $14. A Lippy Trio for $10.35. And TLC BFF Mascara and Liner for $16. This palette is not really speaking to me. It looks pretty cool tone and yeah, the packaging is not enough to draw me in. So yeah, it's gonna be a no for me, dog. Okay, Bare Minerals has a really pretty collection coming out. That packaging is very, very nice. I don't really gravitate towards Bare Minerals. I think they kind of have like maybe a specific cult type of following or something like that that I'm not included in because I don't even really think about Bare Minerals, but they're coming out with a new collection. It's the Beauty of Nature collection, which is inspired by blooming tropical hues and natural textures. Okay, so the collection includes blush. There's two. One is That Peach Though, and the other one is Call My Blush, <laughs> $24 each. And let's see here, Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick, Hydrating Vegan Lipstick, $20. Eyeshadow Palette Natural Oasis for $29. Glow Balm for $25. It's a sheer illuminating balm that adds natural illuminosity to cheeks, eyes, and lips. And an eyeliner for $17. So yeah, once again, it's not anything that appeals to me, but it's cute. It's really cute. I like that packaging. The eyeshadow palette, mm, it's a little lackluster, but those colors, I could see a really pretty eye look done with those shades. Very, very pretty. So there you have it. I don't want it. Okay, Natasha Denona, of course, launching a palette just in time for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Yes, I said Valentine's with an M. Okay, so this is the Love Palette. It retails for $65. Includes 15 shades with different finishes. Available January the 28th online at Natasha Denona and Sephora. February 6th in stores. Okay, now I went back and forth looking at this palette. When I first saw it, I was like, eh, no, mm-mm. Not unique enough. 
And then as I looked at it a little bit more closely, looked at some swatches, it was kind of like, hold up. <laughs> That's kind of cute. So yeah, I'm still on the fence with this palette. I'm not sure. It's really, really pretty. I think of course, it's not anything unique to the market at all. It's not anything unique to my collection, just looking at these swatches. But as a whole, it's very pretty. So I'm on the fence. I'm, I really am on the fence. I don't know if I'm going to break and get it or not, but it's very pretty. Okay, another ColourPop release. These are duos, Lux Velvet duos. So these are lip products. You can buy the duos for $15 or you can get them individually for $8. They actually look like they have some really pretty colors in these um, Lux Velvet lipsticks. And it seems like they're probably a bit more comfortable than their regular liquid matte lipsticks. So I might actually try out one of these duos just to see how I like it because I'm kind of like steering away from the typical uh liquid matte lipsticks i don't like the way they feel so i'm kind of steering away from them but i don't know i might try one of these out one of the darker richer colors you know two for 15 bucks that's not too bad so we'll see you can get 10 percent off using code trend mood <laughs> and they are available now okay so it looks like on beautylish celebrating lunar new year with a new brush of course handcrafted in japan of the softest fibers and limited edition design and japanese is it maki handle a hundred and twenty five dollars next okay Another Beautylish drop. This is a new faux fur brush roll. It's soft and vegan. Faux fur, faux fur. I can't talk. A soft vegan faux fur exterior and a buttery vegan leather lining keeps your makeup brushes organized and protected on the go. Six elastic pockets for makeup brushes and a hidden magnetic closure lets you store your tools in style. You can either get it in pink or black for $14. That's actually kind of cute. I take way too many brushes with me. That wouldn't hold a third of my brushes <laughs> that I travel with. So yeah, it wouldn't work for me, but it's actually really cute. Okay, so this is a Nordstrom exclusive, the new Cool Crush collection from NARS. I don't have anything from NARS, you guys. Do I have anything from NARS? I do not. And I would really, really like to try some NARS. Um, cool Crush Eyeshadow Palette, $59. That's why I don't have anything from NARS. <laughs> that is why I don't have anything from NARS. Hot Fix Cheek Palette, $49. Okay, so that, that cheek palette is $49, okay. <sighs> features four highlight and blush shades and I can't do nothing with that palette so definitely wouldn't be getting that uh loaded lip lacquer for $26 hmm and it looks like there are four shades foxy freestyle plain room and young hearts okay now see that palette I would like to try that palette I mean, it's full of a bunch of shades that I wouldn't use, but that little quad, that little bottom quad with the brown and the, the teal shimmer and the dark teal and the gold, that little quad right there, or even the two next to it as well. So that little six pack of shadows at the bottom, I would use, but am I willing to pay $59 just for those six shades? No, I'm not. <laughs> So, yeah, it's a cute little palette, but no, nah, I'm not interested. No, thank you. Oh, okay. So, Viseart is coming out with their first lip products. It says the Moisture Boost Oil Lip Shine Hydrating Oil Gloss in four universal shades. Okay, they look really cute already through the packaging. How much are these things? $19? Ugh. 
why are lip products so freaking expensive? I guess because they last a while, but still. So these are vegan. Rest Veritrol and Grapeseed Oil Rejuvenate, Repair and Renew with powerful antioxidants while jojoba and sunflower seed oil provide plumping peptides for a luscious pout. Available January 21st, so they are available now. Okay. Yeah, those are cute. Mm. $19. So I see. They're like, if Fenty can do it, so can we, huh? Yeah, and they're pretty too. Mm, Y'all, I am so cheap. When it comes to certain things, I just, I can't do it. And that, <laughs> as much as I want to try, I can't do it. Not for no $19. No, thank you. Okay, Sugary Cosmetics. They have a sweetheart collection. Sugary Hearts Palette, $29. 18 shades. You get nine matte, six shimmers, and three pressed glitters. And it smells like chocolate. <laughs> ah, three different lashes, $12 each. They're 3D synthetic lashes. Okay, so it includes a brush set as well for $28. 12 brushes in a case. Eight eye brushes and four for the face. Four sponge set with a case for $8. Heart shaped brush cleaner, $5. It's available now on Sugary Cosmetics. That's cute. Yeah, no, it's it's not anything unique enough for me to be like, ooh, I want it. There's a lot of light blues and reds and pinks in there. <laughs> so, yeah, no. I mean, the glitters look pretty. Oh, and those are some cute little containers for the eyelashes. Now, those are cute. Those are really cute. Great gift idea. But, yeah, just... The brushes are kind of cute, too. But, yeah, just in general... I'm not interested. It seems kind of cheesy. You know, I understand it's for Valentine's Day, but it still looks a little cheesy to me. So MAC has a new collection, Loud and Clear by MAC Cosmetics. So the collection includes extra dimension skin finishes. Looks like two shades. Very, very pretty. Eyeshadows, quite a few. Mm. So those are like little single eyeshadows. Lipsticks. Oh, the lipsticks look kind of pretty. Those lip glasses are really pretty as well. Yeah, I'm not going to pick up anything from this collection. I'm not really drawn to MAC, like I said before. And this collection is no different. But the lip products look really pretty to me. Okay, so NYX collabed with, I guess, the show Sabrina. I've never watched it. But apparently she has a lot of fans. <laughs> Um, so there's a collaboration with NYX and Sabrina. It includes the Sabrina Spellbook Face Palette, which has 30 eyeshadows and three face pressed powders for $35. Three Sabrina Lip Duos for $14 each. So there's Half Witch, Fright Club, and Weird Sisters available now online at NYX Cosmetics. Now, when I first saw this palette, I thought it was interesting. The color scheme looked nice, like something that might kind of get my attention. And then I saw the swatches, and it was like, mm, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, because it's like, if you're not even going to do go the extra mile to make the swatches look nice for online presentation, then, honey... I, I can't do it. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. So, yeah, no, I'm passing on that. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Okay, so we all know that Makeup Geek went ahead and did their whole rebranding launch. And I must say, I like it. I really do. I love the shadows, the color schemes, the options that she has provided for you to create your own palettes and your own, you know, I like it. I'm a sucker for square pans though. I know a lot of people don't like the square pans. They're like, eh, we don't like it. We don't want it. I like square pans for single shadows. I think it's very aesthetically pleasing. And the way that she's laid out this whole launch and just did the nice gradient with all the shades and the colors, provided options for you to do nine pan palettes, four pan palettes. You know, it's just, 
it's a lot of choice going on and I really like that. So I'm pretty sure you guys already know I ordered some. <laughs> so I will be testing these mugs out. I ordered some of the Makeup Geek old shadows like over the holiday season because they were on sale, I'm sure, you know, to get ready for the rebranding and stuff. So I don't even think they have them available anymore, but I do have some of the old round ones that I just received that I need to play around with. But yeah, I like this whole rebranding. You can use code TRENDMOVE for 10% off. It's just a whole plethora and range of items to choose from. And I'm not mad about it at all. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay, Lime Crime has some new items coming out. Okay, the Prelude Collection. This is a sneak peek. Are these out yet? Coming soon. I don't know if they're out yet or not. But it has the Chroma eyeshadow palette, the Exposed eyeshadow palette, Velveteen's matte, li matte liquid lipsticks, and Neptune, Virgo, and Peacock. Y'all know I'm looking at that Peacock. Okay. Yeah, that Peacock lipstick. I might have to check that out. Okay. I don't know. If I come across the pricing, it seems like I saw the pricing somewhere. I don't remember, but if I come across the pricing, I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. But yeah, the eyeshadow palettes aren't really talking to me, but that Peacock lipstick, I might have to go ahead and cop that. That's pretty. So it looks like Indie Makeup Spotlight just has like a lot of sneak peeks showing, which I don't always like to talk about sneak peeks. I'd rather just wait until they come out or when they're announced. Um, so I can give you guys more information, but yeah, so I'm going to skip out on talking about any indie brands for now. I might come back later on in the week to talk about some, but for now I'm going to skip out on that. And I think that is going to be it for new releases with KK <laughs> for this week. And honey, I am exhausted because that was a lot of new releases, but Eh, I'm kind of happy because it wasn't much that really caught my eye at all. Not at all. I mean, the Natasha Denona palette, that's a, a serious maybe. The Lime Crime lipstick, that's a serious maybe. The Little Norvina palette, though, that is almost a definite, okay? The Little Cherry palette, that one is almost a definite for me, honey, because that one is really just catching my attention. Oh, and the Stormy palette is really cute. The Stormy is a strong maybe. <laughs> the Stormy is a strong maybe as well. And like I said, I already bought the Pinky Rose palettes. But other than that, that's it, you guys. I mean, that's enough, right? Okay, I'm supposed to be on the low buy. What? <laughs> so anyways, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you on the next one. Toodle!